Do you want to learn how to make these granny squares motifs? If you do, stay tuned. Believe it or not, this is just one pattern in all of these examples you see here. And you could use them for doilies, center tape, you name it. You could make a beautiful belt or put them together and make blouses and dresses. If you like them, stay with me. I'm going to show you how to make this today. And uh, we're going to use this uh, cupcake yarn. Light number three. And um, you can use these uh, recommended hooks. Or, but I'm going to use the number 3.5. Um, since I needed for a project to be a little bit more dense and um, not as big. And as a matter of fact, I'm using them for a top. Um, I'm making a top right there, a blouse. So stay tuned for that later on. But let's begin this today. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin with... 14 chains 1 2 3 4 5 11 12 14 and right now we are working on on this square right here this is what we are working on so we just did the first line of these squares we're going to have six spaces, you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's going to be six also on top. So it's going to be six by six. Now we have the first row. We're going to, okay, so you got your 14. Go ahead and chain, um, yarn over and skip your first three. One, two, three and insert your hook into the fourth loop gonna end up with something like that go ahead and um, crochet one yarn over now we skip one we skip one chain right here and go right into the next and be careful don't be confused with the one that's stretching out that's attaching already to this double crochet don't don't confuse that one so you basically skip the next one and go into the right next to it so from now on we're gonna skip one and go right next to it chain one yarn over and you see how bed it stretches the first row don't worry about it. it's gonna fix itself so skip one go into the next chain one over skip one go into the next Keep stretching like this as you go in the first row. Chain one, over, and now we end up in this last loop right there. So now, as you can see, we have six spaces and seven legs. Okay, one, one leg, two, three, four, five, six, seven legs, and one two three four five six holes okay now chain three one two three turn your work over clockwise um yarn over and go right here in on top of this leg chain one yarn over and go right on top of the other leg from now on we're gonna keep going on top of those legs chain one 
yarn over, go on top of that leg. Same thing. And don't ignore this last leg, which might look bad now, but it's going to take form as we go. Do the same thing, chain three, and turn your work over, and yarn over, go on top of the leg, and do the same thing until you have until you have six, we already have six, we have to build six up. So you're gonna have six spaces up. Okay, do a few more and I'm gonna see you on the end of this square. I'm gonna see you the, by the end of the six by six. And just um, and okay, we are here now. We have three. Um, you probably noticed how I managed to pull this out. It was not easy in the beginning. I had to take a big chunk out and make it a ball, and finally loosen up. And now it's flowing easily, coming out. Um, so much easier than just roll it on the side. Okay, so, like I said, I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the six rows. So, I hope you make it, I hope you made it to the end of the six by six. Now, chain another three, one, two, three. And connect it, yarn over, and connect it right here. So now we are starting to work on this part basically okay all right you're going to understand it in a minute um okay i hope you made it to the end of the six by six as well and let's start to work on these sides right now so let's chain two and yarn over and go right here into the same square and do this double crochet so now we're going to end up with with double crochets in every square not every square but go ahead and do two more double crochets in the next square like so and now we're gonna skip these two squares in the middle with a three loop chain one two three go ahead and yarn over like I said, skip the two and go right here into the fifth little square. Yarn over again and make the se second leg inside the same square. Yarn over and 
another leg in your last little square two double crochets so this is going to be our pattern for, for the rest of the perimeter of this square now as you got to the end go ahead and loop two chain two and then you come back in the same square with a double crochet this is your corner go ahead to the one more so you are now having four four legs in one square two on each side separated by this chain in the middle here with two go ahead and do two more double crochet in the next square one and two we are now skipping again the two squares in the center with a three chain two three yarn over and double crochet into the fifth square again one two go ahead and chain double crochet again in the last square one two this is your corner again and you're going to chain two then again double crochet in the same corner square one, two. Again, double crochet, two double crochet in the next square. And skip the next two squares with the three chains. Or yarn over and come in this fifth square with double crochets and we are now in last square again corner square two double crochets do your two chains in for the corner double crochet and come back on the other side of the square one more and move to the next square with the two more double crochets Skip the center two with the three chains. So basically this is a double crochet all all around. The whole granny squares is basically double crochets. Okay. So I'm, I'm I'm now in the corner and I realize I end up with the additional leg in here. I have no idea how. Please ignore that. Um go ahead and um chain two. and close the so we are finishing this row with closing the corner with the two chains 
go ahead and just do two chains and then um, then uh, just a slip stitch did you see what i just did here so you got your two two chains in a corner like we are doing everywhere every corner go ahead and insert that right in your first leg and do a slip stitch basically invisible stitch turn your work around go underneath again and do a slip stitch underneath that two chains because we need to form a clean corner here for a long leg made out of three um, four chains so do four chains one two three four and now we are starting the other row basically um it's hard to show you exactly but we are now on the the def definition of this um beautiful flower we're, we're starting the excitement basically so you get your four yarn on four and go right into this big center space and so you yarn over the double crochet two of them double crochets so now you form two leg go ahead and chain two one two yarn over and do two more double crochets go ahead and yarn two again and over again another leg yarn over double crochet two chains yarn over one more time okay so we finish with this space in here so basically what we got is this one two three this is what we're gonna gonna see that they finish later on go ahead and chain four now because we have to close this side with the way the same way we came up here so we got one two three four connected right into this square right into the end with a slip stitch now con um, now chain four more three four yarn over and move right next to this other edge of the square basically we're gonna insert it right here yarn over do another leg i have two legs chain two to form this loop right here now so we're going back and forth in the same big square um two four six eight eight legs you can have eight legs and three spaces like this one two One, two, three. 
on the last leg on this row on the side and then close it up to the end of the square with a four chain string go right there in a the hole and do a slip stitch now four more chains to go on the other side of the square basically what was square before here now the square is going to become this way you see the square used to be here before now you're going to have it here and that's the beauty of this this granny square i love this one it's my favorite so you chain four yarn over and go back in this big space right there so you get two doubles you chain two and go back with two double crochet again and repeat that until you have eight legs once again we have two four six chain the two and go back with two more legs to make it eight And pull your yarns as you need it. Let's close the corner with the four chain. Connect it right there with the slip stitch. And don't forget four more to come on the other side of the square you see how it's now in a triangle shape it's a cute one too just use it as a triangle connect in the last edge of the square the last side same thing two Two chain, come back with two more double crochets. One, two, let me know if you find this. Um, easy or medium or or difficult level okay and we are closing this row again with four chain and correct the right connect the right here in the last the last little square and make it a slip stitch i'm sorry why do i do the double crochet i don't know you're supposed to be just a slip stitch that's it okay so we now completed another row and next is starting this last we're starting the last row right now not the edge but yet what's under the edge so go ahead and chain four again one two three four 
the same leg on top of basically this is one we're going to go right on top of it gonna connect it right here so make a double crochet yarn yarn over and go right into this little flower that's what's gonna be a little flower let's do that two times so basically two legs two double crochet then chain two and go back with the same technique we've been doing this whole time two more chains so we now have four leg in in one one space go ahead and double crochet and move to the next space one more double crochet go ahead and chain two one two to create that bracket again double crochet again in the same space one more leg so I call it a double crochet or I also call it a leg just in case you haven't noticed yet go ahead and go to the next one chain two and go back two more times one and two we are now completed a corner now this is the corner right corner 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 basically that's what go ahead and chain four like we did before same technique like we did on the previous row now we go right underneath here to connect it with the other one with the same slip stitch you see how now we have two legs one two three four again a yarn over and go right into the next two chain space one two chains and come back in the same space with two more double crochets move to the next space next two chain space with the same double crochets make two chain two yarn over and go back two more times okay and one more to complete it, this other corner same thing one two space with two chains and go back two more time one one two 
we now have another corner completed and close this down also with another four leg one two three four connected it and jump to the next corner one two three four jumping right into the next corner with the same double crochets two two and two so i got two we got two chains and two again okay so go ahead and finish that all the way to the end and i'll see you when i get here to the end of this row and i'm coming to an end of this row one two three four close it down with the same four chain leg and go back right there with a loop with a slip stitch okay now we are starting the the edge this cute wavy edge that's what we're gonna do now basically you could leave it here but i think it's so much nicer and defined with the edge and this is what you're gonna do go under and then close it so basically you're not gonna do a slip stitch first and then close it let me show you again slip stitch and then close it and that's what's giving you that snaky wavy look instead for example regular this will be your traditional right just a bulky looking edge i rather have a finer edge so we're going to continue with this all the way around so you basically have four leg chain here we're going to do the same four four um stitches just like this so i got my four move to the next right here in between same slip stitch and then close now here in the center of this i'm just gonna make two since i have two chains i'm just gonna make two two loops right there continue in between here also here in between those two legs move to the next now since it's, since this is my very corner I'm just going to focus on that and make it just a little bit pointier. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have one of this same chain. And then I chain two in the air, up in the air. And then I come back in the same space and close it down with the same slip stitch and then lock it down and move to the next and as you can see this very corner one is, is pointier and i'm doing that purposely i'll show you later why so um this is the pointy one here is the rounded one 
just a regular two to stitch so here's my four leg chains I'm gonna go four times with this edge one two three four so guys as we are coming to an end i just want to say thank you in advance for subscribing to me and give me a thumbs up and uh and beautiful comments and stay tuned because i'm always coming up with some random ideas so i'll appreciate if you subscribe to my channel Showing me some love and support. I love how this thread changes colors, keeps me excited because I'm, I get bored of doing the same thing all over again and um, I don't mind seeing the color changed. But of course crochet is never boring for, for some of us it's very therapeutic if you know what I mean and let me know if you feel the same way about crochet and, and basically handwork <clears throat> And here we are coming to the very end of it. Two, three, and four. Okay. Call this today. That's it, guys. So, um, before you cut the thread, I just wanted to say never cut your thread right there with the last very edge do an additional stitch before you cut a thread that just reinforce then just pull that baby out nicely and um clean it in the back just pull it back just pull it through the back and gonna take care of those threads later do the same here and let's see what we got okay so I'm gonna use these granny squares for my my um my exotic blouse I'm working on I'll show you that later on but for now this is what you got I hope you enjoy it give me a thumbs up subscribe um of course just press that notification bell button so you know every time I post something and stay tuned